I'm Jonathan. And I'm Taylor. And we're going to show you some tips on how to be a gentleman. Did you enjoy the movie? Yeah, it was great. Yeah, it was. Dude. The dinner was awesome, too. Okay, let me get the door for you, Jordan. Thank you. You're welcome. Let me get you home. You always managed to ruin something. I didn't even do anything. Thanks. Yeah, you're welcome. All right, guys, now that we've shown you that, or told you that, you need to open the door for your lady at all times. You also always need to have an umbrella handy or have, you know, some kind of jacket or be able to take the shirt off your back and put it over your lady to make sure that she stays dry. God, we dinner was awesome. Hey, I'm glad you came to spend some time with me and my family. It's pouring. Oh, my gosh, I'm going to get wet. Man, it is. I wonder if it'll stop anytime soon. You know what? I'm just going to run to the car. I'm going to run to the umbrella. You, you wait right here, okay? Freezing. Yeah, it's pretty cold. I didn't dress for this. Would you like my jacket? No, it's fine. No, here, take it on. It's this. You should. I have short sleeves on and everything, but I think you should uh, wear this. Alright, guys, now that me and Taylor have shown you all a few ways on how to be a gentleman, me and him are just going to have a conversation about how to be a gentleman because there's many, many things us guys can learn about how to be a gentleman. You know, we mess up at times, we slip up, and we're not gentlemen, but there's always times to get better and there's always tips that we can get from others or just learn from others. And um, me and him are just going to have a conversation about some of those tips and maybe y'all can take them into account. We'll even take them into account for ourselves. I think hygiene is a really, uh, really important thing to have because, you know, a girl doesn't like it when you smell bad or your breast stinks. That is true. Yeah, I know my girlfriend, she, she she does not hesitate to tell me when my breast stinks. Yeah, like especially like after eating onions and stuff, you need to make sure you have like carry some mouthwash in your car or something. It's crazy guys, you need mouthwash or, or gum. Nets, something in your car. You know, another one is uh, your language. You need to watch your language around not just your girl, but just around like other people. Sometimes like when you, like whenever I get mad, I might slip up and like say a few things I don't, that I don't mean, you know. That's funny. The reason why I laughed is because me and my, I cussed my girlfriend not too long ago on accident. They just made me laugh because of the situation we were in. I, I won't bring up the situation, but I accidentally cussed in front of her and I still feel guilty about it. And I should never cuss my girlfriend. I shouldn't cuss it. You shouldn't cuss at your parents. You're not just your girlfriend, your friends. You know, it's not cool to cuss around your friends. When you're around your guy friends, it's not, you know, you can cuss, a, you know, you can cuss around your guy friends. Say whatever you want, but just watch it whenever you're around, you know, family or girlfriend's parents. Friends, parents, you know, people you just met, just, you know, you need to be cautious yeah, just watch what your, you Watch say. your language. And know your surrounding areas. What you talk about as well. <clears throat> you also, well, you need, you need to act your age. It's not, you know, I mean, yeah. you're a senior in high school. You know, we're all in high school. You, you know, we need to act like we're high schoolers, not middle schoolers. Not every time, like, you shouldn't be joking around, like, every time, like, all the time, you know, because people exactly. will get, like, we get tired of that, and then they'll just stop liking you and won't think anything is funny because you just overdo things, you know? Yeah. I mean, the only time it's really okay to not act your age is like when you're in with Mr. Whitmer's class or, you know, Coach Morgan's class. You know, classes like that, you can act pretty mature, you know what I mean? Yeah. You know, one thing that uh, I thought of was keeping your promise. Girls always want you to keep your promise, but like I said, it, not everything has to do with girls. It's your, you know, your best friends. You need to keep your promise to them. You need to keep your promise to your parents. You tell your parents you're going to make good grades one quarter or one quarter of school, one semester of school. You need to make good grades. You need to keep your promise. You tell your yeah. girlfriend you're going to pick her up uh, for dinner. Stay you true better. to what you say. Exactly. Stay true to what you say and be on time. <laughs> wherever you go or whatever you do, whether it's with your friends, wherever, 
you always need to be on time. People do not like for you to be not on time. You know, that's yeah. weird coming from me. Especially like whenever you get a job, your boss wouldn't like that. And he might get mad at you and you just got to bite your tongue and just deal with it. That's another way to be a man and like be a gentleman and not yeah. talk back to him because if you talk back to your boss, you know, he might fire you or you might get like take some of your pay taken away or whatever. Yeah. You know. Yeah, you, you kind of just interrupted me a minute ago. That wouldn't be a gentleman. Yeah, I'm um, uh, sorry. Anyways, I was, uh, man, you made me even lose what I was thinking. I'm saying, you know, I think I was saying you need to be a gentleman by always being on time, but you no, know, I already explained that, but always be on time. It's something imperative. My girlfriend always gets mad at me. I was I was late to all of her soccer games this year, and um, she was glad that I was there, but she didn't like that I was late to her games. And I was, uh, <laughs> late to the mother and son luncheon with my mom because I took too long to get ready. You know, just be on time, give yourself plenty of time. Like you said, be at work on time. Another one is to uh, pay for food, like, for, like, your company, the people that you're taking out for a treat, you know. Don't let them, like, pay. Be like, if they're about to take their wallet out and be like, nonsense, I'll pay for you, you know. Exactly. Man, I, I hear you. Even when... Don't offer to take somebody somewhere if you don't have the money. You don't have the money, don't offer to take them somewhere because one thing you don't want to do is offer to take somebody out and then at the end of the night, you end up having to pay for your own, the other person ends up having to pay for their own meal. That's not right to do to somebody. You offer to take them somewhere, take them out, you pay for them. You also need to return a favor. You know, if something's done for you, I think that, you know, you should always return the favor because it's the little things that count, you know yeah. what I mean? It's, um... You know, you always need to you always need to give a little in whatever kind of relationship you have. You know, friendship, uh, even with your parents, always give a little. They put us through uh, they put us through school. They want us to succeed in life. You, you know, we can return the favor by being successful and not being lazy. You know, always getting our work done. Yeah, you, know, you don't even have to like return anything. You just go out and do something. Just be nice to somebody, even if they didn't do anything nice to you. Exactly. Yeah. You see an old lady. Uh, carrying her groceries out of Kroger. You know, this is just an example. You see her carrying her groceries out of Kroger, you offer to put them in a car. Even if she says no, well, if she says no, probably don't need to keep doing yeah, it because she probably thinks you're a creeper. But yeah. always ask, you know, you know you did the right thing. Yeah, you know, one thing just came to my head was being considerate. You always need to be considerate of others. Um, consider where you are. You know, you need to pick up after yourself. You know, when you're at your grandparents' house, a lot of grandkids... Younger grandkids just leave their stuff out and stuff, but you know, when you get older, yeah. the grandkids need to pick up after themselves. You need to pick up after yourself in your parents' house. You need to do the dishes. You need to take the trash out. You know, that's not being a gentleman to your parents, but that's obeying your parents. You know, that doesn't really fall under the category of being a gentleman, but, you know, it's, it's still obeying your parents and honoring, you know, the people who have brought you up and the, you know, the people you're around. And also, if you go to, like, somebody's house, just like if you go to the bathroom, just raise the toilet seat up if it's uh, down. Exactly. So you don't tinkle on the toilet. You know that's not that's not cool because people don't like it whenever they see like dried up tinkle on the toilet. You know. Exactly, man. <laughs> hey, man. My girlfriend the other day. I'm telling you, I did that and she got pretty mad. It was hilarious. Yeah. But uh, if you do, it wasn't you, very hilarious to her though. Yeah, obviously. This one is imperative. You do not need to fart in public or burp real loud because you might do it around your friends. You might be cool yeah. doing that. Especially in class. You know, we're at an all-guys school. You do it anytime you want at an all-guys school. That's the, one of the perks of not going to a co-ed school. You do it whenever you want. And don't scratch your butt or, out in public or adjust yourself, you know, because people exactly. might think you're just weird. It's hard not to adjust yourself, but you just got to refrain from it. Especially when you with it. The last thing I can think about is just being you. I know there's a ton of other things that could fall under being a gentleman, but I think you just need to be you. Don't ever try to be anybody else, or don't try to lie to people and tell them that you're something you're not. You just need yeah. to, you know, stay true to yourself. You know, that's, I, in my opinion, that's part of being a gentleman, you know what I mean? Yeah. Once again, I'm Jonathan. And I'm Taylor. And these are just many ways you can be a gentleman. By the way, guys, this was our, uh, this was our last How to Be a Man segment. Me and Taylor here about to graduate here in a couple of weeks and we won't be with y'all anymore. We hope that next year's How to Be a Man crew can learn from some stuff that we've done. Maybe maybe produce some better videos, you know, but nah, I don't think that'll happen. I love being a gentleman. Don't you? I do too. <laughs>